sure you know that all new computers now have processors with multiple cores, typically 5 to 10. Each core is like a self-sufficient processor capable of executing its own sequence of instructions in parallel with the other cores. The number of cores per processor is expected to double every two to three years. This offers the potential for significant improvement in computer performance. For example, an application that requires 10 minutes to execute using a single core could be executed in 15 seconds by dividing the computing among 40 cores. However, this use of additional cores is not automatic today. To make a single application program run faster, the code must be modified using special instructions or library function calls. This is called parallel programming. All the popular programming languages now have special features for parallel programming, which create separate program threads for execution on different cores in parallel. The main focus of the parallel programming course is on general techniques for converting an ordinary sequential application program into parallel form so that it will run faster by using the multiple cores in parallel. We covered the major parallel programming patterns such as data partitioning, pipelining, synchronous iteration, and replicated workers. We also cover practical performance issues that can degrade the performance of parallel programs such as memory contention, load imbalance, and thread creation time. To learn these programming patterns and performance issues, the course has a series of six programming projects. For example, the final project is a parallel program written in Java for finding the shortest path in a graph. An application of shortest path would be computing the driving distance between a, a two cities for a trip by car. Using a computer with a, a six-core processor, the students in the parallel programming course typically achieve a speed up of four. The program runs in one quarter of the time of an ordinary sequential program. I'd now like to read a recent communication from a former student now working at his job in industry who has taken the parallel programming course. Quote, we have a situation with long wait times for processing jobs on one of our computers, matching database records from Excel sheets to a local database. Each Excel sheet contains from 65,000 to 100,000 records, and it takes six to eight hours to get the job done. I told my manager that I had just finished a parallel programming course, and I would like to redo this matching process in parallel so we can reduce the total processing times and we can take advantage of the eight, eight cores we have on our computers. I'm happy to report that I was able to reduce the running time from six to eight hours to 35 minutes, and that was amazing for everyone at the company." End quote. All the popular programming languages today have features for parallel programming. In the parallel programming course, we go into depth on two of these languages, C++ and Java. For C++, we use the OpenMP parallel programming standard, and for Java, we use the Java multi-threading library. However, the programming techniques you learn in the course are quite general and can be applied to any programming language.